All right, so let's get started on demo number two, formatting cells based on the value of another cell. And this is a fun one, and it's a really useful one just because there are so many opportunities to apply similar rules in all sorts of different contexts. So in this example, we're gonna be using the price checker that we built during the lookup and reference section. And if you recall, we used an index match function to return a price from a certain array, in this case, C3 through G7, based on selections for product and size. Um, so what we wanna do here is create uh, a custom formatting rule that searches for the selected price in E10 and highlights it in the array from C3 through G7. Um, so what we're gonna do is start by just selecting the array that we want the rule to be applied to, go into Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rule. We're gonna use a formula to determine which cells to format. And now, as always, we're gonna start with an equals. I'm just gonna select the top left cell in my array. So cell C3, I'm gonna set that equal to cell E10. And I'm gonna leave it like this for now, uh, just to show you what happens if we leave the references fixed. Um, so in the case that this formula is true, what formatting do we wanna apply? Well, let's choose a nice bright yellow and a bold font just to make the selection pop. So when we press OK, that will apply the rule. And as you can see, nothing's happened. Um, so right now we have extra small sweater selected, which returns the price of $30. So in theory, we would expect cell C7 to be displaying the custom formatting rules that we just set. Um, what happens if we choose extra small socks, uh, which is $4, which sets cell E10 equal to C3? Now we're seeing the formatting rule applied to the entire array. And to understand what's going on, let's go back into conditional formatting, manage rules. There's nothing in our current selection, which is cell B10. So I need to change this to this worksheet. There's my rule, I'm gonna select it and hit edit. And so now, just thinking about what this rule is telling us, it's basically just saying, anytime that cell C3 and only C3 since it's fixed, is equal to cell E10, apply this formatting, and remember we're applying it to the entire array that we had selected. So Excel is actually doing its job because in this case, when I have extra small socks selected, C3 does in fact equal E10, so this formatting rule is being applied. Uh, it's just not working quite how we want it to. And the key is to remove the fixed references here which will allow the C3 to shift to any cell, any row, any column within the array that we've set now that it's a relative reference. So now when I press OK and hit apply, only the four is selected. And now to test this out, we can choose a number of different products and sizes and watch that highlighted cell uh, shift accordingly. Um, so there you go, just one example of formatting a cell based on the value of another cell.